Greetings to Del Monte, Philippines. I thank you for inviting me to journey with you in this Advent recollection. Advent, as you know, is a period of preparation. It is a period of hope because we know somebody is coming. It is, it is not Santa Claus coming to town. It is the Lord Jesus who is coming to our lives and we want to celebrate the presence of the Lord in our lives. So, as we prepare for the coming of the Lord, the question needs to be asked, what kind of Christians, what kind of Catholics must we be in the year 2022 in preparation for Christmas 2022? We are familiar with the Nativity scene. There is the Virgin Mary, there is Saint Joseph, there is the baby in the manger. That is not the complete nativity scene because later on, we will add the shepherds and then we will add the wise men who came from the East in order to adore the Christ child. But there is also something about the nativity scene that I'd like you to focus on. And what is it? The presence of animals. I am very sure you know that there are sheep, there are lambs, there were, there were donkeys, according to our artist's representation of the Christmas scene. This Advent 2022, I would like to invite you to reflect on the possible presence of a giraffe on Christmas midnight. Was there a giraffe at the nativity scene? Did one giraffe kneel down in order to adore the Christ child? I believe the giraffe has a lesson for us as we prepare for the coming of the Lord. There are three things that I want to focus on giraffes. Number one is the size of the heart of the giraffe. Did you know that the heart of a giraffe usually weighs 25 kilograms. That is quite heavy. And according to some scientists, it measures around two feet wide. That is quite a big heart. This Advent, I would like to invite you to enlarge your heart. We need big hearts these days. Some of us say our hearts are petty, our hearts are narrow, and our hearts are evil or selfish or arrogant. I do not agree because St. Augustine himself said, O beauty ever ancient, ever new, our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In other words, our hearts have the capacity to contain eternity in itself. Our hearts were created for something bigger than ourselves. And only eternity, only divinity can satisfy the longing of our hearts. Sometimes we say there is the small heart in us, the selfish heart that is wounded, that is betrayed, that has suffered, dishonesty and violence and terror and infidelity. But there is also the big heart in us that wants to serve, that wants to love without measuring the cost, that wants to give without counting the cost. There is the big heart in us, there is the small heart in us, and it is for us to choose the largeness of heart because the largeness of heart is like the heart of Jesus, wounded for love of us, and yet continuously loving and never giving up. My dear brothers and sisters, be like the giraffe. Enlarge your heart. Maybe not biologically as heavy as 25 kilograms. Maybe not biologically in size as two feet wide, but enlarge the heart of your soul. Enlarge the heart of your soul and allow your soul to hear 
the whisper of the Lord's love for you this Christmas and every day of the year. The second thing about the giraffe is that it is the tallest mammal that many of us know. And because the giraffe is tall, it is able to see a perspective different from ours. The giraffe has a different perspective from above. And that is what we need also. A different kind of perspective. A different kind of looking at things. A different kind of looking at one another. I will say, perspective is everything. What do we mean by that? If I ask you, are you happy this Christmas? Are you happy with your life? You know, it is very ironic. I ask you, are you happy? And some of us start to tear. I ask you, are you happy? And some of us feel a lump in our throats because we are not able to answer truly, am I really happy? We want to be happy? That is natural. But perspective is everything. Perspective changes everything. For example, if we ask Jesus on the cross, Lord, are you happy? The Lord might say, I'm in severe pain. I have wounds all over my body. My hands and my feet are nailed to the cross and I cannot move. I cannot be happy. I'm in pain. But if we ask the Lord, Lord, is your life meaningful on the cross? And most likely the Lord will smile and say, Yes, it is, because I am in love. I am in love with the Father, and I am in love with you. Is your life happy? That is not a very important question. The more important question is, is your life meaningful? And that is the perspective that we need to adopt during this preparation for Christmas. Do not look for happiness because for as long as we are living in this world, we will be walking in a valley of tears. Look rather for a life of meaning, a life with a purpose, a life lived for the Lord, with the Lord, through the Lord. And I want to thank the giraffe for challenging us to change perspective, to look at things from above. The third thing about the giraffe is that giraffes do not always live with fellow giraffes. You know, giraffes can live with ostriches, with deers. Giraffes can also live with other animals in the in the forest. What do we mean by that? It means that the giraffe is comfortable with everybody. The giraffe is unique. It is one of a kind. But the giraffe is also able to live with others. Because it is only in living in community that we will be able to find Christ living in community. Yes, Christ lives Christ lives in my heart. Yes, Christ lives in my soul. Yes, Christ is in my soul. Nasa aking kalooban. But you must remember also that Christ is in one another. And you will be able to see the face of God in your soul because you are able to see the face of God in others. The giraffe can live with others, not just with fellow giraffes but went with many animals in the forest, with many animals in the desert, with many animals, with many more. They do not just live for themselves. They live in community. So this Christmas, in preparation for the celebration of Christ's birth, I request you, expand your vision, expand your horizon, Think of others because the new name of Jesus is others. And it is only in loving others that we can truly live for the Lord. Did you know that every spot 
in the giraffe is unique, like we have our unique thumb, thumb prints. The giraffe has so many marks of uniqueness in itself, and yet the giraffe is willing and ready and eager to live with other animals in the safari, in the desert, in the forest. Because the giraffe is able to see things from a different perspective and then, in a manner of speaking, the giraffe becomes a sentinel for those who threaten the lives of his fellow animals in the safari, in the desert, in the forest. He is a sentinel. He is a protector of others. And he stands guard, not only protecting himself, but protecting others. Finally, my dear brothers and sisters, if you really want to be happy and you want to live a meaningful life, live a life of gratitude. Look at everything as a blessing. Look at everything as a gift. I thank you for this opportunity to join me with you in this Advent season. And let us allow the largeness of the giraffe to teach us a lesson. The height of the giraffe giving us a different perspective. The different marks in the giraffe's body and yet living with others become a sentinel become a guardian for the lives, for the security of his fellow animals. That is life. And the giraffe was probably not at the nativity scene. But the giraffe has beautiful lessons to teach us if we want to prepare for the coming of the Lord. Because in a manner of speaking, the giraffe is Jesus for us. God made man with a very, very big heart. God made man who changes our perspective. God made man who lives among us, who lives with others. And God made man whose mandate for all of us, like the giraffe, love one another. Let us pray for each other so that more and more we may be like Jesus. Everyday Jesus, Every day living for Jesus. God bless you all.